Hello again, Double Eagle. We talked about how computers send pictures by sending one pixel at a time. And we also talked about how computers send sound by turning sound waves into numbers. But what about videos? Well, a video is just a series of pictures in a row and some sounds to go with it. Each picture changes just a little bit at a time. When you put them all together, it looks like it's moving. Most videos have 24 frames or pictures per second. That means every second it shows 24 different pictures. That would be so many pictures that it would be hard to send them in time for you to watch them. The computer couldn't keep up. So computers use a clever way to make the videos smaller. Even though a computer video has 24 frames every second, a lot of the frames stays the same. For example, in this video, my hands move and my mouth moves, but the background stays the same for the whole video. So why should I have to send the background every time? Instead, what computers do is they'll take one picture called a keyframe, and then for the next frame, they'll just send what the difference is, like maybe my head moved over a little, or maybe my mouth opened, ah, uh, and they'll just send that little difference instead of sending the whole picture. You can also think about it kind of like a spot the difference game. Have you ever done these where you try and find the differences between the two pictures? If we had this first picture, we could describe that. Oh, there's a guy in a tent and he's sleeping and there's some grass and a helmet and some trees. And then we could describe the differences. Oh, in the second picture, there's no grass or helmet, but there's a moon and a bear. That would be a lot faster than trying to describe each picture separately. Today you're going to make a short video by taking pictures of your toys. Or if you don't have any toys there, you can draw some pictures on paper and move them around. Each picture you take will be one frame of the finished movie. We'll use a technique called stop motion where we take pictures of things and then move them just a little bit for each picture. That way, when we play all the pictures together, it'll look like they're moving. You might have seen this in movies uh, like with Wallace and Gromit or Shaun the Sheep. So what kind of a story should our movie tell? It needs to be short because we are just learning how to use this tool and we want to use only pictures, no words. When movie makers want to tell a story, they write down their ideas on a storyboard. A storyboard is just a sequence of images that show what will happen in the movie. Make a short storyboard on paper before you take your pictures. If you have your stem packet, there's a place for you to make your storyboard on page 10. Looks like this. If you don't have a stem packet, you can just use a piece of paper. I'll show you my storyboard. I'm going to tell a story about a frog and a duck playing hide and seek. The frog will look for the duck and can't find her, and then the duck will pop out and surprise the frog. Next, we'll take pictures to make the story that we drew on our storyboard. With stop motion, we arrange all the objects, take a picture, and make little movements, and then take another picture, make a small movement, take another picture, and so on until we have the whole story. Then we play it back and it will look like they're moving. Uh, you're going to go to app.cloudstopmotion.com. I put a link in the description for you. Then click Start Now. It says we're not signed in. That's okay. We don't have to sign in. Click New Project and then we're going to allow it to use our camera. On the bottom, it shows all our pictures in a row, kind of like a big long storyboard. On the right are our controls. We can go backward and forward, play our video so far, and use the red camera button to take the next picture. I'm going to tilt my camera down and I'm going to put a sheet over me to be like a background. You could also use a piece of paper or whatever you have around. Ah, now you can see my duck and my frog. When I get everything set up for the first picture, I'll click the camera button to take a picture. Then I'm going to move the frog a little bit to show that he's looking for the duck. Each time I move it, I need to take a picture. Move, take a picture. Move, take a picture. We'll end up with a lot of pictures, but when we play it back, it looks like a movie. If you want to, you can use this button with the sliders to change your movie speed. I'm going to make mine a bit slower. Ah, that's better. And of course, there's my favorite button, the undo button at the top, in case we make a mistake. When you're all done, you can click this computer icon to export your video. Click Start Export, and it'll take a little while. And then when it's done, you can download now, and that will put the video file on your computer or iPad. To share it with your class, upload that file to Google Classroom as an attachment to the assignment. It should be in your downloads area, probably called My Animation. If you can't figure out how to share it online, just share it with someone that's near you, and then you can mark it as done. 
I hope you stay safe, have fun, and keep making things.